Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. I hope all of you learning linguistics with Thea. Today we are going to talk about psycholinguistics and language learning theory and we'll go through in this lecture definition scope are areas of psycholinguistics psycholinguistics as a multidisciplinary field language learning and acquisition theories this lecture is important for student scholars and the main objective of this lecture are introducing my learners to the basic concepts and theories of psycholinguistics such as language processing comprehension and prediction as well as the relationship between language and thought and second objective of this lecture is exploring the different approaches and methods in the field of psycholinguistics such as native behavior neurological linguistics you can be transcribed of this lecture in the form of blog by the link that is given in the description section so enjoy learning linguistics with here and uh, let's move to first slide psycholinguistics is the study of psychological and neurological processes involved in language the main focus of psycholinguistic is to understand how people acquire use and understand language this field examines how the brain process language and how it influence our thought process perception and memory similarly psycholinguistics also addresses the social and cultural factors that influence language use such as language acquisition bilingualism and language borders main areas of interest of psycholinguistics are first language acquisition that refers to the process of how children learn their first language including the factors that influence language development and the stages of language acquisition second scope is second language learning it is the process of learning a language other than the first language including the factors that influence second language acquisition and the challenges of learning a second language scope of psycholinguistic is language disorder it refers to the difficulties in acquiring using and understanding language including speech and language disorder such one is language and brain it refers to the relationship between language and the brain including how the brain process language and how neurological disorder can affect language to language and cognition to the relationship between language and cognitive process such as memory attention and problem solving sixth scope of psycholinguistics is language and communication it studies the role of language in communication including how language is used to convey meaning and how non verbal communication supplements language second last is language processing refers to the cognitive process involved in understanding and interpreting language including perception memory and attention and the last one is language production this refers to the cognitive process involved in producing language including grammar vocabulary and the ability to formulate thoughts as in spoken and written language psycholinguistic is the combination of multiple fields like <coughs> focuses on the psychological and neurological process involved in language it draws on research from cognitive psychology neuroscience and speech and hearing sciences on is philosophy the role in the psycholinguistics by providing a theoretical framework for understanding the nature of language and meaning others have contributed to the study of language by examining the relationship between language and thought the nature of meaning and the structure of The next one that is the most important that is linguistics. Linguistics provide the framework for psycholinguistics and has contributed to our understanding of the structure of language including phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax and semantics. Further, we have neuroscience. Neuroscience is a key area of research in psycholinguistics as it helps to understand the neural mechanism underlying language processing. and production in last is anthropology that provides insight into how language and culture are different or different cultures have different ways of using and understanding language computer science and artificial intelligence have contributed to the field of psycholinguistics by creating computational model of language processing and by developing tools to analyze language data next one is cognitive science is also sub discipline of psycholinguistics and encompasses psychology linguistics and neurosciences had contributed to the understanding of the cognitive processing involved in language last one is the education important role for psycholinguistics as it helps to understand how children acquire language how to teach second languages and how to help children with language disorders two some important theories of language learning and acquisition and psycholinguistics first one is the nativist and the second one is behavior both approaches 
are important to understand the acquisition of language within the field of psycholinguistics theory is also known as the innateness hypothesis according to this theory our approach the ability to learn language is innate or hardwired human brain and according to this theory children are born with an innate capacity for language that allows them to acquire language without direct instruction the theory was first proposed by noam chomsky who argued that the children are born with an innate grammar or universal grammar that guides them to first language second important theory is the behaviorist which states that the behavior of an individual is shaped by its environment and the behavior is learned through reinforcement tissue suggests that language is learned through a process of classical and up- according to this theory children learn language through exposure to language and reinforcement of language related behavior theory was propounded by bf skinner both theories nativist and behaviorist have their own strengths and limitation both are important in the field of psycholinguistics nature and nurture important role in language learning and acquisition two important theories after nativist and behavior theories are social interaction and cognitive development both approaches are to diff- understand language acquisition within the field of psycholinguistics the social interaction theory suggests that language acquisition is influenced by social interaction between the child and the caregivers according to this theory children learn language through a process of socialization in which they are exposed to language and learn to use it through interaction with the emphasis the importance of child's social environment including the role of caregiver in providing language input and feedback this theory was first proposed by Vygotsky who stressed that social interaction are crucial for cognitive development on cognitive development theory is that language acquisition is closely tied to, to the child overall cognitive development according to this theory children learn language through a process of cognitive development in which they build mental representation of the language they hear and use these representation to understand and produce language this theory emphasizes the importance of the child's internal cognitive process including memory and problem solving this theory was first proposed by jn piaget is that cognitive development is closely tied to language development theories have their own strengths and limitation and we will discuss all these theories in detail in our next few lectures